So typically when you get a tracking number from your supplier, it's going to have a UPS or a FedEx or a USPS tracking number that you can easily, no matter the marketplace and the website that you're drop shipping on, give into that website. Who's then going to in turn, give it to the customer who will then in turn be able to track their order very, very easily. But let's say that you get a tracking number, for example, from Amazon that looks like this. It's a TBA tracking number, which obviously you can't give to the customer because they won't be able to track their order since it's from Amazon Logistics. And the only person that can track this shipment is you from your buyer account. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use Track Taco. And with Track Taco, we can actually generate a tracking number to this city and to this state, which we can then in turn give to the buyer. Now, obviously this was already delivered, but let's pretend that we just got notified and it was coming on the 30th of October. So how would we generate this? Well, this is going to Newport Ritchie, Florida. Again, we're pretending that it's it's going to be delivered on the 30th. So we would type in in the destination city, Newport, Ritchie, Florida. And again, we're going to pretend that it's coming on the 30th. So we'd click in here to the estimated delivery range. And you would think that you'd want to pick the 30th here, but typically I always recommend going a day or so afterward, because if the buyer gets the package delivered ahead of their expected delivery date, they're going to be happy. But if for whatever reason, this gets delivered on the 30th at night, but the tracking number that we generate on the 30th in the daytime shows it's delivered ahead of time, you're still going to run into the same problem. So for that reason, I always say go a day later at least. All right. So maybe we go 31st to like the second or 31st to the first, and it's going to show us how many potential tracking numbers can be found here. Now, obviously, if we went a little bit earlier and we went a little bit later, there's going to be potentially more tracking numbers. Obviously, Newport Ritchie isn't that populated. If we went like Miami, Florida, for example, well, I guarantee there'd be a lot more. There you go. So Newport Ritchie on the 31st to the first, and then we generate the tracking number. And basically all it's doing is it's searching the database of FedEx and UPS to find a tracking number that's going to Newport Ritchie, Florida in the given time period that we gave it, right? So if we click the trackable tracking number now, it should say that it's going to Newport Ritchie, Florida, on the either the 31st or the 1st. And obviously this is going to be delivered on the 1st by the end of the day to that city and that state. So yes, we originally got a TBA tracking number and we couldn't give that to our customer because they couldn't track it, which causes all kinds of problems. Instead, we convert that using Track Taco to one that is trackable that we can then give to the customer so they can track their order. It gives them peace of mind and obviously it protects us. Another example that you might see this frequently would be on Walmart. Now, Walmart has been known to deliver via DoorDash. So you might just get notified maybe a day or two after your order that all of a sudden your order was delivered and you never got a tracking number from Walmart. Typically, this is because they just outsourced that delivery to DoorDash who didn't provide you with a tracking number and just dropped it off as a package to that person's doorstep. Now, as a drop shipper, that's a major problem for us because we can't then come up with a tracking number to give to the website, whether that's Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, eBay, or wherever, who will then input that and give that to the customer. And so we won't get paid. So it's another example of a situation where we would use track taco and generate a tracking number. So for this order, for example, it's already delivered. So we're going to generate one that's already delivered to Clinton Township, Michigan. Now we want this already delivered because it's already been delivered for this example, right? It showed up with DoorDash and was just marked delivered. So in this case, we'd go delivered. And if it was a delivery date in the past, we'd obviously have that selected. So for example, if it was delivered, today, then we'd select today. If we were notified that it was delivered yesterday, we might select yesterday. We'd click get tracking number, and then it would generate us a tracking number to Clinton Township, Michigan. In this case, it's FedEx. And if we click on this tracking number, it should say that it was delivered yesterday. There you go. And that's an example of how Track Taco can save you in a number of ways. Another way that I use it is in my Amazon drop shipping business. So as you can see with Amazon and the same thing with Facebook shops, there's a number of logistics partners that you can input here. However, if you're sourcing from an obscure retail supplier or a wholesale supplier that might ship with weird logistics, or even potentially somewhere from overseas, you might get a tracking number with a logistics partner that isn't even on Facebook shops or on Amazon, or the shipping service that the carrier that they give you isn't on there specifically. So that's yet another example of a situation where you want to use Track Taco.